Touchscreen Chromebooks are becoming increasingly popular, which I think is a great thing for the classroom. Having a touch-enabled device opens up even more opportunities for creativity um, and drawing, annotating, doodling, things like that. Surprisingly, while touchscreen Chromebooks are increasingly more common, the number of touch optimized tools is pretty limited, um, which is a bit disappointing. I expect that this will change as touch devices continue to um, increase and be more common, but I thought I'd just uh, share a couple of my favorite touch enabled apps uh, with you. Uh, this is by no means exhaustive, but uh, a good place to get started. Um, the first one is a pretty standard one you may use already, and that's Google Keep. It does offer a touch um, feature, so I have a new note here. If I click on uh, the snowman, I can say add drawing, and I can uh, draw right here on the screen. Um, I use this a lot for annotating on top of images. So, uh, so for example, if I uh, take a screenshot of uh, this right here, I'll get a little message that will pop up and it says, hey, do you want to um, use uh, this with um, Google Drawing, annotate image? I'll say yes, and it'll just pop right in to drawing and allow me to uh, draw on top of it. So anytime I'm highlighting or emphasizing something, um, that's a useful tool. So that's the first one. There we go, we got our annotation there. First one, uh, Google Keep, you probably have that app uh, on your device already. Um, the next one they wanna highlight is Zeitboard. This one is um, uh, pretty robust. It's got a lot of features. If you've ever watched a video from Khan Academy, um, you'll get kind of a sense of what this is. It's, a, it's an infinite canvas on which you can draw. Um, you know, it's got different colors, different line thicknesses, things like that. Um, you can save these. I can insert an image um, from uh, my computer and then draw and annotate on top of it. Even like a PDF file, I could draw on top of um, if I wanted to. So it's it's very robust. I have seen Zeitboard um, used by math teachers for students to work problems because of the infinite canvas, um, which is kind of uh, kind of nice. So here's an image that I've just added. Um, we'll go ahead and uh, just do a quick drawing. You know, I can sketch right on top of this image if I wanted to, you know, trace it. So it's it's a creative tool. You could do a lot of different things with this. So that's Zeitboard. The last one I'll demo for you is uh, a lot of fun. This one is called Auto Draw, and this app is for uh, people who cannot draw like me. So I'm gonna draw a little landscape for you. Uh, you can just uh, kind of watch and see how this works. I'm gonna draw a palm tree. Um, here's my palm tree and oh yes, like that. And then we'll do some water down to the bottom. Yep. And then a little sunshine here. Hello, sunshine. So what you're observing is as I sketch something on the screen, Google's algorithm tries to interpret what I'm drawing and then suggest these, um, professionally drawn graphics up here at the top. And so when I, you know, draw a ridiculous stick figure, it can interpret that and say, oh, are you trying to draw a yoga person? Oh, yes, I am. Now you can do more with this. You can fill it in. You can create graphics, add text, and then download these images um, if you uh, wanted to. This is a really cool tool to use to create a project. So maybe you're creating a, a slide presentation. You want some original graphics. You could come here, create the graphics, and then drop them into uh, your slide presentation, for example. Those are just a few um, apps that are touch optimized. Um, the link to um, this document with uh, a few others is uh, below the video. You're welcome to check it out and I'll continue to add new apps as I discover them.